All right, man. Ryan Garcia reveals why he pulled out of the Devin Haney fight. Let's speak on it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. He going around saying it was a smart business decision. Um, sounded just like Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people believe that hanging with Floyd Mayweather made him pull out the Haney fight and people kind of make the you know the insinuation that Mayweather hate no Haney probably because Haney didn't sign with him but also he probably wants uh you know Ryan Garcia to take uh a Javante Tank Davis rematch you know um that might be what it is he probably want him to do a Tank Davis rematch he be Roley get the belt only problem is Ishmael Barros and um you know Ishmael Barros and uh and uh you know Kenneth Sims waiting the wing. So I don't know if they plan on pay, playing bar borrow some money to allow it to happen or uh you know whatever the situation may be, but nonetheless, um you know. It, it is what it is. Uh, but, uh, but let's get into what Ryan Garcia had to say. He says, that's the Mayweather. Well, that's Tiafima Lopez. Uh, my bad. That's Tiafima Lopez. Hold on. We got to find out what Ryan said. Um, uh, I just seen it. I think maybe I passed it, but basically he said that it was smart business business deal that um uh that you know after he beat Roley, the Devin Haney fight will be that much bigger. Um, he said that Hitchison and um and uh. And Dev Henney go fight Hitchison and do three that three thirty thousand pay per views and all that stuff. So um I mean it is what it is. It is what it is. Um I just feel that uh can't promise the people something, get the people hype about something, and then turn 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 back and, and do something else. You know, I just feel that uh I just feel that that's that ain't right, but he got the right to reserve their mind. But also, basically, what he said, I thought they had an article on it, but it's an interview. Basically, what he said is that Devin Haney wanted to be the A side. You know, he said Devin Haney, he wanted to say Haney Garcia, and he the A side, and um, you know, and Devin ain't the A side. That's what he said. Devin ain't the A side. So uh, that's pretty much what he said. That they argued over, you know, who was the A side, you know, and Devin Haney felt like he was the A side, so he pulled out. You know, so he pulled out. So with that, with that being said, I mean, it is what it is. A guy who never won a world title going around saying he the A side because he did a million with Javante Tang Davis, which that do hold some weight. He did, um, he did, you know, he did that, but it wasn't like mainly because of him, you know. Because if we could talk about something, who was the last, you know, who, who what did his last fight do on his own with Oscar Durant? I guarantee you didn't do well. There was a lot of tickets out there still for sale. So that's what we can say. So it's his last fight with Oscar Durant, that that shit didn't sell. Tell me I'm lying. That shit didn't sell at all. So he can continue to say what he want to say about the situation, but it didn't. It did not sell. But uh, if he felt like he was the A side and he he could walk away and Devin Haney wasn't gonna budge on that, then so be it. 
So be it. You know, we want to go fight Roley when well, nobody really didn't understand why he didn't just do that from the beginning. You know, that's the problem. Why you just didn't go do that from the beginning? Nobody was asking him to fight Devin Haney. Nobody was thinking about that fight. I mean, Devin Haney didn't want every belt and won belts in two divisions. Think about that for a minute. Ryan Garcia ain't won a belt in one division. And he didn't fought at three different four different divisions. Let's keep it all the way funky. He didn't fought at four different divisions. You know, you some people you got some people that's happy that he that he not fighting him. You know. They mad because Devin Daddy is talking and he's selling and marketing his son, doing what a good manager and a good dad supposed to do. That's wild to me. That's super duper wild. I don't like them because his daddy be lying or his daddy be saying this, that he talk too much. You know, I ain't hear y'all have a problem with Andrew Garcia was going around calling black fighters nappy headed niggas. That's crazy to me. Real talk. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's super duper crazy. But that's the space we in right now. So he didn't, you know, it sounded like, you know, Ryan wanted that line share of the money. You know, and Devin wanted the line share the money and wanted to be the A side, so Ryan walked away. Ryan walked away. Wasn't no, wasn't no compromising, wasn't none of that. Wasn't no none of that. So, and then you know they saying that he trying to uh. Make the Roley fight on Seco de Mayo and steal that date from Canelo Alvarez. So, I mean, go ahead. Try. I mean, if Canelo come back with Munguia, good luck with that. You know what I'm saying? Good luck with that. If Canelo come back with Munguia, you can try. But uh, we'll see. You know? We'll see. But, um, you know, it says Ryan, uh, uh, Cinco, de, uh, de Ma- uh, Cinco de Mayo clash. Ryan Garcia eyes May 5th for the Roley showdown, potentially still in Canelo's Thunder. How big is him and Roley? I don't know. I wouldn't order it. I think it's a good fight, though. He said Devin has lost his shot. He thought it was Garcia. Here we go. He thought it was Haney Garcia. He should have. Known it was Garcia Haney. He did 35,000 buys against Regis Progress, said Ryan to inside fight about Devin having lost his chance to face him due to poor pay-per-view numbers in his last fight. Well, you knew the pay-per-view numbers before you opened your mouth, if those are the numbers. You knew the numbers before you opened your mouth. So that, that wasn't it. You know? He said he's going to take go. He's trying to go take that and go fight Richardson Hitchison, uh, Devin versus Hitchison. I'm helping him out with his next move. Ryan said laughing. He got lucky. So he said Roly, uh, Roly probably he just trolls thing, uh, trolls into things, rolls into things. Uh, Ryan said about Romero getting lucky and big fights falling into his last for sure. This being the biggest fight of Roly's career, I destroyed that man. I see. His eyes closed, uh, said Ryan, when asked how he sees uh, the fight between Roley. I believe this fight, uh, I believe this fight is in uh, is in May, May 5th. So Ryan Garcia don't, I mean, uh, Oscar De La Hoya don't know shit about this. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said before, I mean, he got the right to do whatever he want to do. I ain't mad at him. Um. You know he going after a tank rematch, and I know they gotta they gotta try to do that fight again. It's it's too much money involved. 
you know, it's too much money involved. So, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Too much money involved. Too much money involved. But uh basically they they pretty much fought over who the A side and B the B side was, him and Haney. Now can he push Canelo off that day with a Roly fight? If Canelo fight Mungia, he got zero chance. If he fight anybody lesser, he got a chance. So um that's just what it is. That's what it is. So who knows? But Ryan Garcia ain't no real fighter. He's a pussy. So we all know that. And that's why he getting no respect, Rodney Dangerfield. That's why he getting no respect. But you no, know, so be it. Still a good fight him and Roley. Um, two, two, two non-boxing dudes, two dudes that can't box, but hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live or drop video, um, financially want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ good 313 Venmo, CJ good 313 PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor. Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Uh, and on Goodfella TV, peace.